Welcome to Canine Educators to Save a Life. My name is Eric Odie Roth, and in this episode, we will talk about skunks and, more importantly, how to de skunk your stinker. First, let's uncover some facts about these little weasels. That's right, skunks belong to the weasel family and possesses one of that family's key characteristics, scent glands. We will get more into that in a bit. Luckily for us, skunks are easily identified by sight and we instinctively will avoid them. Dogs, however, did not get that gene. I often tell people in our canine courses that dogs traded a few pieces of common sense for the unconditional love gene. If a dog gets sprayed by a skunk, there is a good chance they will find themselves in the same predicament again down the road. Now, skunks have a very good sense of smell. However, they have very poor eyesight. Perhaps that is why we see a number of them in the road after being struck. This is just my observation, and I was not able to find any factual statistics in regards to that theory. Now, there are 12 different breeds of skunks, but there are usually only four breeds that you are most likely to encounter. Now, skunks are omnivores. Their diets include insects, vegetation, small rodents, eggs, and garbage. Here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that skunks are one of the most main predators for honeybees? Skunks are very effective diggers, having five toes and claws on their front and hind feet. Skunks usually will dig their own burrows, but they often prefer occupying those constructed by other animals. They will make dens and hollow logs, and you may even find them under your deck, shed, or your foundations. Skunks typically live within a mile and a half radius. However, this may increase to five miles during breeding season. I guess there's no tender for skunks, as they still look for their lover old school. Once they have consummated the relationship, litter sizes vary from 2 to 10, all depending on the species and the age of the female. The offspring are called kits. It should be noted, they have the ability to spray musk a few weeks after birth. Now, skunks by nature are nocturnal and reclusive. Be sure to use extra caution if you encounter a skunk during the day, or one that is extremely aggressive. This is very abnormal behavior. It may indicate that the animal is rabid. Now, skunks are not all that bad. They eat common pests like field mice, moles, and insects. They will also do a bit of gardening by spreading seeds and plants through their scat. Now, I bet you never thought of that as a benefit. Let's talk about skunk spray and where does it come from? The fluid is a mixture of several volatile compounds consisting of thiols, thiolastate, and methylcholine. The thiols are the big contributor to the repellent odor, while the thiolastates help make the smell last a long time especially when water is added, which is why pets continue to smell even after a traditional bath. Now, skunks have a pair of specialized sacs located in their anus. The sacs are merely pouches that store an extremely foul-smelling secretion produced by the glands that line the sacs. Skunks are docile, but will defend themselves when threatened. If a skunk feels threatened, they will give a warning, which includes hissing, stomping of the feet, elevation of the tail, and then turning into a U-shape. Failure to heed these warning signs will result in the unlucky aggressor being sprayed with the skunk's anal gland secretions. Skunks are highly accurate in their aim and can spray upward to 7 to 15 feet away. Humans have the ability to detect skunk spray up to a mile downwind. What effect does skunk spray have on dogs? The effects can be oral to the mouth, ocular to the eyes, dermal to the skin, and in rare cases, there will be a respiratory component. Now, absorption through the skin is usually minimal. The severity may depend on a pet's proximity to the skunk when being sprayed. If an animal is sprayed directly in the face, an inhalation injury can occur. The chemicals in the skunk spray irritate and, if inhaled, can inflame the lining of the nose, throat, and lungs. If your dog swallowed some of the oils, vomiting may also be an issue. If there are any signs the dog has difficulty breathing, transport to the veterinarian immediately. A spray to the eyes and face can cause swelling and redness. Sometimes drooling and squinting are commonly noted in animals that have been sprayed. Many dogs will rub their faces, roll, and sneeze and vomit. The thiol components can cause oxidative damage to the red blood cells. The result is the destruction of red blood cells. This leads to anemia. Only a few cases have been reported in the literature and the ASPCA toxology database. Dogs like humans reflexively blink or close their eyes when something is coming at them, but it is not uncommon for a dog to surprise a skunk with their nose, which can result in a dog's face and eyes being sprayed. 
This can cause irritation and pain to your dog's eyes. If this happens, you'll want to immediately flush your dog's eyes out. To clean your dog's eyes, flush each eye several times with a properly formulated eye wash for dogs for 10 to 15 minutes. You do not want to use a contact lens solution or visine to flush the dog's eyes out. There are different products available on the market that are safe to use in this way. If you live in an area where skunks are common, consult with your veterinarian on which product they recommend, and it wouldn't hurt to keep some on hand. You also want to prevent your dog from pawing and rubbing at their eyes to reduce any chance of secondary trauma. When flushing your dog's eyes, you should approach your dog from the side. A handful of treats might help make this uncomfortable situation more tolerable. Here's a pro tip. Use paper towels to help absorb the excess oil on the face and the coat. The secretion itself is a yellow oil that will cling to most surfaces that it contacts. Like all oils, it does not mix with water. Although this situation is no fun for both you and your dog, it is important for you to stay calm. Your dog may be disoriented and scared. If you are panicking, it will just escalate your dog's fear and stress. Take a few deep breaths and remind yourself how difficult this is for your dog, and never let fear be larger than your purpose. One of the big issues is the stench to the fur. There are many products on the market, however, there is one proven mixture that many students have praised. Now, my grandmother would say to use tomato juice. For the record, I do not think my grandmother ever did this. So be cautious on what you can find on the internet. So here's your go-to. A formula for neutralizing skunk spray was developed by Illinois chemist Paul Cabram. You will need one quart of 3% hydrogen peroxide, one quarter cup of baking soda, and one teaspoon of liquid soap. We have found that the blue liquid soap works best. You should have all the supplies on hand, and it will have to be mixed and then used immediately. The mixture cannot be made ahead of time and saved for that dreadful day. Once you mix the ingredients, apply it to the sprayed areas, and then wash off with tap water. Do not spray the mixture into the dog's eyes. However, you can spray the mixture into the mouth without causing any harm to the dog. Be aware, the hydrogen peroxide may discolor or bleach the fur. Once you rinse the dog, allow the dog to dry. You may have to reapply the mixture to eliminate any areas that may have been missed. If you would like a copy of the Neutralizing Skunk Spray, you can visit our website at www.canineeducators.com. You can download your own first aid supply list for free. The recipe is printed on that PDF document. While you're on canineeducators.com, take a peek at our online courses. It is a great way to learn and receive information from our veterinarian, Dr. Lisa Booth. I hope this podcast makes you a better you, and more importantly, more prepared to handle this emergency involving your dog. If you like the podcast, please give us an awesome rating. And remember, never let fear be larger than your purpose.